Hi everyone, we're going to get on with our soup and the first thing I'm going to do is put probably about a couple tablespoons, maybe a little bit more, of olive oil in my pot. Let me put this back more and we're going to let that get hot. Meanwhile, I'm going to chop up a whole onion, really small, dice it, and stick it in here with some bacon. I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so I have my whole onion in here. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. And at this point, if you're going to use regular bacon, you're going to put three to five pieces of bacon in here. Now, I'm kind of doubling my recipe, not the onion or the bacon part, but just the sausage part. <coughs> because my family likes it hearty, so I'm going to put a little bit more. But at this point, you would put your bacon in. Um, a tip that was given to me by someone who actually makes this all the time, and it's been the best tip, is you could use bacon bits. And I only use these kinds, real bacon pieces it's called. Because it's actually real bacon. It's not funky old phony bacon. It's from her mouth. Or you could use a jar of these. And personally, I've made it both ways and I actually like these better. And there's not grease. So I'm going to stick them in there. As I said, it's real bacon. So there you go. So I've got my bacon in here. And I have my onions. And I'm just going to let my onions brown out. Let me pan this a little bit further away. So I'm going to let these cook together until they get translucent, my onion. We have one large onion, one jar of the real bacon bits, or three to five pieces of chopped bacon. And we're going to just cook this until the onions get, you know, translucent. So I'll be back. What am I watching? <laughs> I know someone's going to ask. I'm watching Christmas. I love Christmas, you guys. I can't even wait. Right now, it's all about uh, Thanksgiving. And Halloween. I don't do Halloween, but it's about autumn, fall. I have the same thing over there on my table. Yeah, so I haven't really done much. I put up a, my husband's pants and drying them. A few things, and my house pretty much looks a little different. I added some uh, my wreaths there. I think I have much to show anybody. A few more plants. Yeah. <laughs> and that's it. Now the recipe calls for one pound of Italian sausage, and this is what I'm using. But I'm going to put two because it tends to be really watery, soupy, and I want it a little bit more hearty. So I'm going to put two pounds of sausage in my pot right now. So there's my sausage, and it's cooking with my onions and my bacon. And um, <clears throat> that's... I'm going to let that brown. I'm going to throw some garlic in it after. Now, I'm not saying that I'm Italian and I know how to make this perfect. I got this recipe from someone, and I went online and searched different things, and all I wanted was for it to taste like the one at Olive Garden. This tastes like the one at Olive Garden, but a little bit more robust and actually better in flavor. So I love this recipe. Um, I'm just trying to share it in case you want to make it. So yeah, we're going to let that cook. Okay, so it calls from anywhere, everybody's different, from three to five cloves of garlic. I'm using crushed garlic. I'm just using a knife. You know, if I'm doing this, I never measure. I'm going to honestly put about two teaspoons in there. Let me get the rest of this here just to show you. This is the other. So it's about two teaspoons altogether of crushed garlic. I wouldn't do that more than that. It'll start pissing off. Really crazy. So that's what it looks like right now. I got my meat cooking, my garlic in there. I'm going to mix this around. And next, I'm going to put in my potatoes. Now we're going to put two to three potatoes. And what I did was, um, let me see if I can bring this over here to show you. I cut the ends, wash these real good, cut them in half, and then I'm just going to slice them. And they're going to look like this. So we're going to put two to three potatoes in here. 
So after mixing it, this is what it looks like. We've got everything together now, the potatoes, the garlic, the onion, the bacon, and the sausage. We're going to put chicken broth, and I want to cover it in chicken broth. <clears throat> so I have two, and I'm just going to pour these in. Okay, so we have our chicken broth in there, and it has to be completely covered. I'm going to come on here, put my lid on this, put this from number six to number four, and set my timer on my microwave for 20 minutes. And we'll see you in 20 minutes. Okay, so this is the soup. After 20 minutes, you see the bacon, the potatoes are nice and ready. The meat is done. It's beautiful. So the last thing I have to add is my kale. Now it calls for one cup to whatever. I like to add just handfuls of kale in there. So add kale in there and mix it as I go. <clears throat> I like to add a lot of kale. This is a really good time to get your kale in your in your diet in your day here. Yeah. We're going to add more liquid, so don't panic if you see this looks like a lot of kale. I like a lot of kale in my soup. My white hand over here. I have it in a bowl, so I'm just going to... And what I did was I got one of these packages of the kale, and it looks off. I'm tearing this package up. But it's one of these from Trader Joe's, and I put about half a bag of kale in it. And I'm going to come here, <coughs> mix this all up. Make sure I mix it really good. Look at that beautiful kale. And then I'm going to put a pint and a half. Now this is tricky because everyone has a different recipe. The person I got this from said a pint and a half. So I do a pint and a half of heavy whipping cream or whipping cream. One of them is this one, the generic one, and the other one is Mayfield I get from Trader Joe's. But I'm going to put a pint and a half in there and I'm going to show you right now. Okay, so here we go. Stick this in there. Now, you're going to let, I'm gonna, it says it's pretty much done once this warms up, but I like it to cook a little bit longer, like about 15 more minutes, or sometimes I cook it all day, I'll start it in the morning right now, it's 2.13, my family doesn't get home till like after 5, and I'll cook it until then on low. So we have a pint and a half of cream, I'm going to sit here and mix this in, look at that, look at the soup, how beautiful that is. That's pretty much on the videos. It's pretty much after about five minutes, I'd say. That's pretty much ready to eat. You got your potato. You have your kale. Look at that. That's absolutely gorgeous. This is so good, you guys. Okay, and now you're just salt and pepper to taste. I usually like to wait to the very last minute because of the sausage. It is kind of salty. Oh my god, that's so good doesn't even really need salt. You can add salt if you want to. My husband loves salt and everything, so I'm just going to put some salt. And some black pepper. Where's my pepper? Pepper, what are ya? I have so much stuff. Ground pepper, other kind of pepper. I also put cayenne pepper, and it calls for chili flakes, and I'll show you what it calls for these kind of red pepper chili flakes but my throat is hurting and I usually put about a tablespoon in there that's what the recipe calls for or cayenne pepper to taste but my throat is hurting so I don't want any heat in mine right now I think pepper is going to be enough if I can find it hold on let me find my pepper okay so I ground some fresh pepper in there <clears throat> and this is it it's pretty much ready to go you can eat it as is you have your onions, your bacon, you can see that, your kale, and your beautiful flavor juice, and that is it. Absolutely gorgeous. And that is my beautiful soup. I have my potatoes here my kale, my sausage, my bacon, my onions, and it's gorgeous. I'm going to taste it for you. Mmm, mmm, 
mm, it's really good. Oh my god. This is awesome. This is my soup. Look at that. Mmm. I miss this all the time. And it's so gorgeous. Hope you make it. It's super easy. If you want the recipe as it calls for, it's one pound of sausage, one large onion, three to five bacon strips, chopped small and cooked, two to three cloves of garlic. A lot of people say more, but that's that. Um, one and a half pints <clears throat> of whipping cream. Two, I believe it's quarts of, um, oh my god, chicken broth, a large onion, two tablespoons of olive oil, and did I forget something? And it calls for two cups of kale. So that's it, just cook it up, it's that easy. Oh, and red pepper, crushed red pepper flakes, but I don't have them in there. You can also get um, spicy sausage if you want to, instead of putting that. Mmm. Oh, the bacon bits. When I make this for my family, this does not last. And it's absolutely better the next day. So I'm just going to put the lid on it and cook this down. Let it cook all day long on low. And that's it. I hope you enjoy this. This is the recipe. I think Asa, you asked me for it. Here's the recipe, Asa. Really easy to make. Absolutely beautiful. Didn't take that long to make either. Zupa Tuscana, just like Olive Garden. Um, enjoy. I am. Mmm, mmm, so good. Bye. Don't forget to top it with Parmesan cheese.